Yo, yo, yo. Today is Friday, November 18th, I think. And I'm just trying to go through. I got a bunch of Super Nintendo stuff in the mail. Well, at least I'm pretty sure it's Super Nintendo stuff. A bunch of eBay orders. And this one's up first. This one came from uh, International, I think Canada. And it happened to ship in a Nike shoe box. So let's check it out. Pretty good pack job, if I do say so myself. Make sure the contents doesn't get destroyed. This is all garbage. I don't know if you can tell what this is just off the back, but this is something I've been wanting for quite some time. As for those that don't know, I am going for a uh, the goal is for essentially free, like buy and sell stuff, for, and then uh, use some of that money to pay for collection pieces. Mostly all selling used furniture, and this one was a big one that I got. So this is the Super Bomberman Party Pack. Kind of a little bit beat up, and but that's totally okay. But it is clean. A lot of the ones didn't have this little cardboard insert. Let me check all this stuff. Sent a cartridge. We have my kitty cat talking in the background. And who's who remembers these things? Like I remember playing with these uh, with my sister. I'm pretty sure we were playing Bomberman, Bomberman, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a pretty cool piece of nostalgia if I do say so myself to own again uh, I've only ever owned just the multi-tap but uh having the box is super cool for sure so this goes right here and then I also have I knew that I was getting this and so I went ahead and purchased um, one of these clear protective sleeves. So let's just peel this plastic off. Kind of haphazardly. I'm trying to figure out what to call like my Super Nintendo collection journey I'm thinking about like a super Sunday you know every week I'll do like a check-in kind of see where I'm at and update I guess more or less myself and whoever is listening I'm kind of doing this for myself just to document it for funsies which I think is probably the better way to do it so let's get this piece of plastic that like that Plastic right here, plastic right here, and we'll close up this side. And this goes right in here. Bam. One of the larger games, the boy like box variations added to the collection. That is super sick. Next up is this package. Whatever this might be. I like kind of, I like seeing how other people ship because I also buy and sell things on eBay, obviously. So this person shipped this as UPS first class package. But uh, shoved in a priority mail flat rate box, which is, as far as I know, illegal and or not allowed. So, there's that. Garbage. This feels like a cartridge only. 
Yeah, so a pretty beat up copy of Miss Pac-Man with a, if I'm not mistaken, a replacement label or the label is just super dirty and it is sticky as you can tell. But that's okay. I guess I, I could have waited to buy it in a collection, but it was like $7.99 free shipping, so I think that completes my copy. I usually have a like plastic box cutter, but I have no idea where that went. And again, this person shipped this first class at a six ounce rate in a padded flat rate envelope, which again is illegal for far as I know. And then inside of that is a party mail flat rate, another <laughs> no-no. And this is and another <laughs> party mail flat rate. Uh, Super Saturday Night Slam Masters. I won this on auction for, I think, 34 free shipping. This manual has seen better days. The Slam Master, the Great Oni, 6 foot, 221 pounds, special attack, cyclone kick, jump and attack simultaneously. It's kind of like a Street Fighter wrestling type game. And there's a cartridge. What's cool about this is over here. I do have the box somewhere. Oh my god. Why would I look for it? I can never find it. I have no idea, but I have the box for that, so that completes my copy once I find it, I guess. I might be in a different spot, but that's okay. Next up is this. This also feels like a party flatmate railer, mailer. Yep, it is covered in a red poly bag. This is insanely difficult to open. Shoot. This is WWF Raw, the manual, and the cartridge, which I believe also completes my copy. I guess I can open up everything and then go from there, I suppose, on what it is I'm adding to the collection. This is a kind of Frankenstein package. Jeez. <laughs> a little handmade mailer. And a little bubble sleeve. And another bubble sleeve. There's another Pac-Man 2, The New Adventure. Which is also a new game. I'm trying to get a lot of these lower tier stuff when I can and for like a really good deal. I typically buy, you know, bulk, like a hundred plus games at a time or a thousand dollar orders at a time but sometimes I mean those items and like lots of stuff rarely pop up and here is a space football manual only 
I always need rubber bands. I can never find them. So this is got some. I don't know why they taped this page at some point in this manual's history, but space football manual. Put that over here. Next up is a eBay box. That was terrible. This is from North Country Cards and Collectibles. Trusted eBay seller, free shipping, secure packaging. Yes, I would agree with secure packaging. I like these little eBay boxes. Oh, I didn't know it came with the uh, uh, box protectors too. That's pretty sick. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've said that like five times. That's okay. Rating. Huh. I wonder where the video game store these were from. These box protect these box protectors feel really good. Feel extra thick. I like these. But these are CIB games, which I did not have. I think it was like both for like $18. I was like, I can do that. So we're adding two CIB games. And then you have a, I imagine a manual. This is Terminator 2, which appears to be missing its last page. So I'd have to, I guess I didn't look at the pictures good enough. I just clicked by it now. But that's okay. I was I can always find another one. This feels like a car trip only. It is, and it's let's see if I can guess. What did I buy? Cartridge only. Frogger? Oh no, no, that makes sense. Space football. So that I had the box for that too. Over in my over that way is my box storage kind of cabinet thing. And we have two big boxes coming up. Well, this being one, and then a really big one to my left. This is the Lethal Enforcer light gun, and that was a okay way to ship it. Ship a bunch of paper in it. They probably spent a little bit more on shipping than you know they could have saved themselves some coin, but that's okay. 1993 Konami. <laughs> I'm, I've never played this game, and uh, I'm excited to get that because. I already have the box. I just didn't have the gun. I already had the already had the game, the manual, the inserts, and all that stuff. So I can now I can just add the box. So that completes uh, two of the large boxes that come in the Super Nintendo. And then lastly is this. I don't know if you can guess what this is. Probably, uh, maybe if you knew what is this big, flat. So I'm gonna kind of take it apart very carefully on the sides. So I told the buyer, or the seller, I mean, this is for my collection, so. Please pack well and pack flat. I'm just gonna open this up and then This is the Super NES console set, home run edition. Uh, I didn't have this one, so I went ahead and purchased it. 
which is crazy how like all they did to these control sets is just slap this sticker on it and it makes it a variant or variation I don't I don't know if it says like what it all comes with or what it's supposed to come with but uh this is pretty cool I'll go ahead and put it together for everyone The only damage, unfortunately, is for whatever reason, it was cut right here. Maybe, I have no idea why, but uh, pretty sick to add to my collection. So today's collection grows by some plastic. Uh, how many more complete games? I'm just gonna put this off to the side. So we have this is complete, this is complete, complete, this is now complete. Space Football gets completed. I think Miss Pac-Man gets completed. Pac-Man 2, I think is completed. Slam Masters 2. So here is the box for this. You got the box for that. Oh, box for that. And the box for that. Go ahead and put these together. Oh, I already had one. So this can now go on my complete wall, which I think I'm now officially over halfway. And this has this already in it. So here's this. Wham, bam. On the shelf you go. This Miss Pac-Man box has seen better days, but it's complete for now. And for whatever reason, Miss Pac-Man's box uh, has like the Banjo Kazooie Donkey Kong 64 style box where it has this glued in white insert, which I've only seen in a couple of Super Nintendo games, and this being one of them. I don't know if they're all like that, but this copy is, and this is blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I was trying to see if it said printed in Japan or Mexico. Assembled in Mexico. So this is probably my third or fourth release box. And then next up is this, which is Super Space Football. Nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, and I got Terminator. So that's complete, and I gotta get this to up here. Because this one I already had the 
cartridge game. Now, of course, it gets stuck. There it goes. So I've officially completed on this week's adventure, I suppose. Uh, these are all unnecessary then. Oh, excuse me. So, they always make these so difficult to get out, these old plastic trays. Way, I suppose. Where's that rubber band I just had too? Right in here. Boom. Now I'm missing, I think, you know, like the, uh, Konami like insert which I have a bunch of I just haven't put any I wonder which con which cartridge is cleaner though Oh definitely the new one is cleaner so that's cool Car uh, Condition upgrade from my old one And then this goes in its box Oh, that's what it is. The warranty paperwork is what I'm missing. Well, I put it in the wrong way, but that's okay. Bam. So this is now extra. I can sell for, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 bucks, maybe. This is just cartridge only. I have the manual, but we can open up my, we can open up the app, Game I, G A M E Y E. And go into the collection. We can look up space football which is now complete game manual box uh this all takes account of like price charting and uh stuff like that value as of november 18th according to the online database guru whatever thingy is 39 dollars for cib but good luck finding a box on almost every super nintendo game Terminator. Terminator 2 is now complete. And that says it's worth $51. Uh, we have Slam. Slam Masters is now complete. And I I spent for the cartridge and the manual. It says just the game is $25. The manual is $30. And I paid $34 or $36 for both. So, you know... 
a good deal, which now completes my copy, which I ha I'm in the box. You know, I buy, I bought the box in bulk. Uh, maybe then I'm in the box for like six or seven dollars, and the box is worth forty six. But complete, it's worth eighty five allegedly. That sells for almost double that on eBay. Uh, we have Miss Pac Man to add. M S Pac Man is now complete. Only twenty six dollars. Probably in this condition. Take off twenty percent because that box is trashed. Then we have WWF Raw, which is now complete, and that's a value of forty five. Uh, Lethal Enforcers is now complete, the value of 191. And then we have Bomberman. No, I don't know if that can count as a game or that counts as a so we can go filter to console. We're searching for new stuff. Actually, I bet you could just do. It has to have a barcode, yeah. Actually, the barcode scanner option. Bleep. Super Bomberman, add items. Yeah, Super Bomberman party pack, value of 230 is now in my collection. I highly recommend this app. It is amazing. Hi, Hitchy. So we have NFL football. This game's already added, so I've already added this stuff. This is a value of $23, complete in box, it says this app. And the other one is ESPN, which is a value of $25 for this one. So we said $230, $25, $23, $190, $38, $58, $85, $26, and I think like $50. Oh, my cat wants to say hello. Come on, off my table. Thank you. But, yeah, I'm in it, uh, I think maybe like 200 or $300, which I got for free. So I bought, well, I picked up a free couch and I vacuumed it and sold it. Uh, this month alone, I've only sold two pieces of furniture, which were really crazy ones. The very first of the month, I sold a uh, Pottery Barn Designer Outdoor Wicker Set for $1,900. And I paid a hundred and you know, I'm all my bills are paid off that alone. And then this week on eBay, I've been like doing a lot of extra stuff to make sure uh, I list more like, like good, like hard good stuff, not just cards, but I try and do, you know, 20, 25, like hard goods. And then uh, like 50 plus TCG. Uh, between like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and uh, Magic. Magic, I have 5,000 cards ready to go any anytime I'm ready. I just haven't clicked upload. I'm kind of just like, if I need them, it's kind of like a draft bank, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to keep growing my collection. And according to Game Eye, let's see how much my collection is worth now. It says I have 225 entries into Game Eye. Uh, 1600, $16,877 is my collection value. Uh, my system value of my system box variations is 2236, uh, which doesn't account for this actually. So I guess we can go into here, barcode scan, right here. Hello right here, hello right here. Interesting, it doesn't read this because this barcode for this console variation is just a sticker over the original variation. Hmm, interesting. So I guess we can look that up. Home, whoops. Manually select, search, console. Super Nintendo, go, home, control, that's what it is, right? It's just a one controller set, not super set, yeah. 
uh, I guess it doesn't have the variations. Interesting. But uh, it says my game collection is only 16800 Oh, something just sold. A Yu-Gi-Oh card just sold for $3.44. But once you click my games, it says I have 380 uh, collected. Like either whether that be CIB, manual only, cartridge only, partially boxed, you know, game box. But uh, I'd say I'm probably halfway of the full library CIB, and I started uh, one year and one month ago. So, sweet. Appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for watching this long. If you are, like, comment, and subscribe. It feels so weird saying that, but if you want to, great. If you don't, great. I'm kind of doing this for me, so follow along if you want. Peace.